Listen up, Alexi. No one goes in or out. Next shift is in three hours. Move it, people! Establish the perimeter! Yes, sir! Yes, sir! No one's allowed to go in or out of there! Let's go! Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, hey, barricade that here. area. All right, I got this side. Okay. They're locking us down here. That's good, then. But this makes it even scarier. Nina. Please don't! Don't come near me! You're contagious, but I don't want to. I'm not ready. Will you please calm down? No. Why did you lock us down? We need to call someone. They can't just leave all of us locked in here to die. Or can they? They'll wait until we all die in here. Then they'll sterilize the place, right? <laughs> That's it. Just like nothing ever happened. You're a nurse, Nina. And so what? I didn't work here just to die for that crappy salary. Do I make myself clear? I'm a nurse here. I'm not suicidal. You hear me? Doctor! I work here as a nurse. I'm not suicidal! Doctor! Anybody! What's wrong with him? He suddenly started convulsing. <laughs> There, there. You'll feel better now. It'll be all right. You'll be just fine. It's all right, baby. Mommy's here, okay? Recover in with solution! Nina! All right, then. Hold on. Where are you going? My kids are in there. We can't go there. But my kids are in there. Listen to me. Take your hands off that door. Please, Maria, it's just a little girl. I don't care. They Listen need to me. Help us on the way. Get wind. their hands off Please, me. just calm down. If you get infected, the girls will be left without a mother. Is that what you want? Let's get out of here. Is the boy convulsing? Yes, terribly. That's not all the symptoms. Four out of five. Roman got infected as well. So I guess I am too. Don't say that. And why not? Am I immune or something? I just find this amusing. We haven't cleared anything yet. But I don't like that you're without a doctor. Hey, hey, you! Where are you going? You can't go in there! Get off me! Are you okay? Stop and stay where you are! Seriously, dude? My wife and mother are at home. You know that? Go back inside, man. Or I'll shoot you. I have my orders. Are you crazy? What's wrong with you? I'll count to three. One! Fine. Take it easy, man. And close the window! You're letting the infection spread. Take it easy, all right? My wife and my mom are at home. They're waiting. All the more reason not to be selfish. Do you want to infect them? I never thought I'd die like this. No, no, no. I'm fine. I'm sorry, Doc. Thank you. Just go. I'm sorry. That was some long distance running. Damn it. I fell harder than I thought. Is it that bad? I don't know. My fingers seem to be moving. 
Should I call Nina? That won't help. I'll just wear a splint and douse it with something. Anyway, we just have to take her with us. And as for him, let's just decide on the spot. you worked with them. Can you trust them? I had Komarov deal with this stuff when he was still alive. Good thing I still have their contacts. You want me to go? He's your wife after all. <laughs> so you don't think I can do it? I always doubt when emotions are concerned. Natalia, not in this instance. Now we're here too. Me, Salon, you, office. Hello, laboratory. This is Yana from Pulmonology Department. We're waiting for Zalbakina's results. Sure, please look for it. Mm-hmm. Sure, I'll wait. Yana? Yes? Have you checked on Aleptina? Her condition seems to be relatively stable. But for the prognosis, yes? You've sent it already? Good, I'll check. Mm-hmm. Oh, there it is. They're finally here. We also have more blood work, mm-hmm. Lucas' size are elevated. Neutrophils too. So it's bacterial, not viral. Yeah, but we're not clear on which one. So we'll issue everything possible. Antibiotics, broad spectrum. For Aleftina? That's right. What about rifampicin? But why? It's a strong antibacterial. It even tackles tuberculosis. Mm -hmm. We have pneumonia. Um, I don't know, but my gut says you should try rifampicin. Dr. Valokashin, I understand that you are the future star of neurosurgery. <sighs> But I don't mess with your brain, so stay out of my lungs. Rifampicin's harsh. It affects the liver. It's used for leprosy, tuberculosis. And we need to cover as many options as possible. Therefore, antibiotics. I'll prescribe it then. Thank you, Yana. Anna. Not now, please. Yana, I'm sorry. <sighs> Maybe at least... Fluoroquine alone? I don't get it. Do you have a personal grudge against antibiotics? Or maybe me? Well, no. That's good to know. Are you happy now? Anna's daughter got infected with Legionella. And it is our fault. How do you know that? Are you kidding me? Two cases of pneumonia in the same ward. You think it's a coincidence? Well, of course it is. As for her daughter, I know she hasn't been tested for Legionella yet because I didn't order it. The bacteria would have killed her at that time. Our doctors working here stupid? They know it's bacterial and prescribe broad spectrum antibiotics, like cephalosporins. Cephalosporins will not work. It has to be rifampicin. They won't even test for Legionella if you don't order them to. I'm afraid that it's all because of your humidifiers. What makes you say that? Vika's ward had one. Anna's daughter had it too. Where did you get them? What are you talking about? First of all, I was following Ministry's orders. I didn't buy them. Second, they're clean. And third, it was you and your Lydia who operated on a man who later died of Legionella. A little girl could possibly die. Dr. Fetisov, I need to tell them. But you came to me. Not to them. So why? Hmm? To ask for my permission? I doubt that. You, Mr. Artyom, came here so I could talk you out of it. You just came here to ease your conscience. The department is almost yours. What's the matter? Can you handle cases carefully and bring people to the right conclusion? I 
won't let you in. You let me in because you have to. Do you want to get infected too? I'm well protected. Open up. No. I'm about to break this door down. Come on, open up. Roman got hurt real bad. Well, now I'm here. What do you mean two days of tests? Seriously? Listen, I have people confined in a small space in here. You do realize that I can't move them to different wards without your authorization, right? Yeah, we're quarantined. Some of them are not infected, so you... Hello? <sighs> we're locked here and forgotten. As per usual, just like in Chernobyl, like... And there's nothing you can do about it, am I right? Yes, I can. I can keep the infection from spreading, that's the most important thing right now. Not for me. Do you have kids? No. Well, that explains a lot. You know, if anything happens to both of my daughters, I'll kill you. I swear it to you. Got that? to apologize. I'm sorry. It's all my fault. Okay, that's enough. Put them on another electrolyte drip. They're dehydrating quickly. Why aren't you treating them? Water is not a cure. It helps them. It's what keeps them going. They're getting worse. Their symptoms are escalating. Why did the boy get sick first? The father was the one who brought the virus. You're right. Something's off. What were the boy's symptoms? I said an onset of fever. At first I thought... meningitis. He had a headache, neck muscle pain, vomiting, abdominal pain, then diarrhea. The father was coughing. But... No one's cuffing now. <clears throat> so, what do you mean? Marburg virus doesn't cause abdominal pain. Nina, I need you to prepare a drip. Should be electrolytes with extra glucose. Mm. At least for the first few days. Did you read something off Wikipedia? You're not a virologist. Neither are you. And that's why we're here waiting for them and the test results. Good afternoon. Mr. Nikolai, I'd like you to spare me one minute of your time. Please get in the car. <laughs> I'd much rather have a public meeting place than this car of yours. Hypothetically, this is just a hypothetical question. What happens if my lovely ex-wife turns up to be alive and well? Well, I don't get it. I mean, that's not even hypothetically possible. I don't care. Just answer it. Well, if the court declares her to be Violeta Aristova, 
Then, of course, she will be entitled to all her property rights. If she is sound of mind, of course. And what if she's incapacitated? She'll still be entitled to it, but she'll have a guardian appointed by the court. Like who? Mother or sister? You. You're her closest relative. Thus, you will be the guardian. By the way, why do you ask? Huh? It's nothing. Rather, let's talk about your responsibility to keep this conversation quiet. You know I won't talk. Neither will I. But you've already lied to me once. Would you like me to tell you what will happen if you try to deceive me for the second time? Dr. Shulgin, may I sleep now? Go ahead, Nina, of course. Thank you. You're crazy. Put it back on. It's too late. Please, put it on. Quiet, they're sleeping. Do you know you're already infected? It's a construction suit. It's not even the right mask. If this is Marburg, I've already been affected. You're such a liar. Mm hmm Maybe it's nothing, just like you said. I may be wrong. I'm going to sleep then. Have a good night. <sighs> Hello, Mom. Listen, you have to leave this town ASAP. I can't explain now. Just leave quickly, understand? I'll explain later, because it's still classified. All right, I'll call you. Love you. Okay, bye. Does your arm hurt? I just sprained it. And your ribs? No. What about your stomach? I'm fine, Tatiana. I'm fine. Are you okay? Me? I'm... I'm scared. Hey... Don't be. You're not allowed to worry. How could I not be worried? I can't leave you alone in there. You'd get infected. Oh well. It's better me. Than you. <laughs> you too. What do you mean? Well... You're not alone in there. I'm sorry. <laughs> Silly girl. What for? The boy? Mm-hmm. Awesome. 
Tell me everything's gonna be all right. Everything is going to be all right. Why wouldn't it be? A case for declaring a person incapacitated by mental disorder may be instituted in the court of law. Right, based on a statement of, well, of a close relative. In this case, the guardianship agreement must specify the composition of the ward's entirement property in respect of which... Just cleaning it so she could be out of our lives as soon as possible. Our life? I like the sound of that. Ah, uh, are you excited? Do you want me to bring you her heart in a lunchbox? <laughs> you need an alibi. I have one. I was with a woman for several days in a row and we were in bed the whole time. Who's that woman? I can't reveal her identity, but she's incredible. Is she beautiful? Very. And sexy? Yes. <laughs> She's a queen. Let me give you a quick check, okay? Mm -hmm. Will you cough for me, please? <coughs> mm -hmm. All right, sweetie, that's enough. You can stop coughing now. You don't have to anymore. A glass of water, will you please? Sit up, sweetie. Some water, please. Here. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's good. Okay, lie down now. Okay, here's your mask. Mm -hmm. Now breathe. Go get some rest. I'll talk with the doctor and come back, all right? Well then, oxygen saturation is dropping. Antibiotics aren't working. No. It should have gotten better overnight, but it still hasn't. It's bad we don't know what's wrong with her. Her cardiologist said that she can't take any other ventilator. What else can we do? She won't be able to breathe. If we don't treat her, We don't she know will... what's wrong. It's the 21st century and we don't even know. Yes, we do. Anna. It's Legionella. She got infected like my patient. The lab is going to confirm it, so start on rifampicin and fluoroquine alone. Tell me what you know. Anna. Artem, tell me what you know, please! Anything. We were told to stay in quarantine and wait for new instructions. Okay, I understand. But I still don't know the diagnosis. We decided on Marburg. Where's the hemorrhagic rash? The sore throat? Right. Now let's pretend for a second that we don't know anything about this rare virus. I wish I could. Okay, patient age 8. He's complaining of headache, abdominal pain, muscle pain, and nausea. His temperature is 40. Diarrhea. Ruled out appendicitis, meningitis. The first thing that comes to mind? I'd say it's viral gastroenteritis. One after another, and that infectious. Just hold on. Think hard. What have they eaten in the last 24 hours that you haven't? Um, well, we had breakfast together, then they ate grilled meat on the road, and I ate grilled vegetables, but I took them off the fire myself. You washed your hands? Of course, it's soap. You don't eat meat? No. I actually prefer the healthy lifestyle, mm. but I just can't get them to do it. So how are you feeling? No symptoms? Nothing? Are you healthy? Well, I think so. You know that it's just a matter of time. Sonia. Huh? Yes? What is it, honey? It could be Marburg. But then why is it that his wife isn't sick? Or maybe it's just a really bad meat. Maybe some kind of sauce? 
They had some eggs. Turned out my mom gave them soft boiled eggs. I had no idea. The symptoms look like salmonella. Then it's curable. I didn't need it. Neither did I. But I have symptoms. You got sick a couple of hours after they arrived. The rest of us are fine. Maybe it's just a coincidence and you have something else. What do we do now? Antibiotics? Nobody's getting antibiotics until we know it's salmonella and not a virus. Just continue rehydrating the patients and add gastric lavage. Now, is there anything left of the egg, shells, like anything at all? I need to know. This has nothing to do with you, so could you just please step away? Stop! Stop! Just relax. I'm not from there. What do you mean, not from there? You're all contagious. Now get back in there. I'm not contagious. I'm the head doctor. You're lying. Go back. I've had no contact with sick people, okay? I need to get to that car so I can get some samples for testing. I don't care. I have my orders. Nobody in, nobody out. Now get back in the building. What's your name? Alexei. Well, it's... I am... Alexei Volobuev. Sergeant. Alexei, please, I'm begging you. I'm not going anywhere, believe me. I just need to take a sample from this car to check. They need it. You can take them yourself. All right, then. I can. But could you please just go back inside? All right. So what do you need? There's a food container with eggs in it. Please, give it to me because I need to take them to the laboratory. All right, fine. You can get it yourself. Well, what can we do? Close our eyes and do nothing? We have people in intensive care, not just Alevdina. I'm talking about others. And that bastard decided to make some money. Here. Whoa. This is all for recycling? Here you go. Now we have to locate the machine that was placed in the ward of the first affected patient. Listen, Mr. Nikolai, placing the entire department in quarantine. Forgive me, but that's an overreaction. Come in. Dr. Semyonov, I'm going to sue you. It's despicable and cruel. You knew everything and said nothing. You would have wasted even more time, time which my girl doesn't have. How's Olivdina? Still sick from the damage and disease caused because of this person. This person is your immediate supervisor. The humidifier. It was placed in the patient's room. It's there when she died from Legionella. Presumably. Dr. Fedisov personally took it out of the room and sent it to recycling so that no one could analyze it. We want to test it, confirm that it's contaminated, <laughs> and then we need to test the rest of them. My colleagues, you're paranoid. Uh-huh. Negligence. Patient abandonment, intentionally causing harm to the patients. Now tell me, is your own ass more important than the life of a child? You knew the equipment was contaminated. What am I supposed to tell you? It just broke, that's all. And you even deleted the test results from the database. You are crossing the line here. Sir, who are you going to listen to? To my best anesthesiologist. No, it's a distraught woman who is terrified for her child. All right, then. Dr. Yegorov, take this humidifier to the laboratory immediately and have it tested. You're suspended, Dr. Fetisov. I'm what? You're suspended. Are you sure about that, Dr. Semyonov? Please remember this. I don't care about your connections or your high-ranking influential friends. If God forbid, what Miss Anna accused you of turns out to be true. You're never gonna get away with it. Likewise. Same to you. <sighs> Thank you, Dr. Semyonov.
hello. It turned out to really be Salmonella. Nina! Mom! Mom! Mommy! Oh, my baby! <laughs> I was so scared. Thank goodness. Oh, does it hurt? Don't worry, I'm fine. So what's wrong with you? Marburg? I just realized... When I was still in college, I lost about 12 kilograms. Everybody thought I was sick, but it was just... <clears throat> what? <laughs> well, I have a weak stomach. Is that how you react to stress? Yeah, oh, I you poor so. thing. So, uh, where's Violetta and Pavel? <sighs> they went somewhere, I don't know. I see. Hey there. You forgot your book. You even made a bookmark. Let's go. Do we have to go? You're so funny. You make me laugh. <laughs> Pavel, don't be mad at me, okay? You see, I can be rather unpleasant at times. Yes, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm no picnic either, you know that. Yeah. And thanks for keeping Tatiana out of quarantine. You see, she's now pregnant with our baby. Really? Really. Congratulations. That's great. Thank you. Awesome. Well, thank you. Come thank on. You. Good luck. You're gonna need it too. Thanks, you too. Thank you. Be safe, okay? Thank you. Thank Bye you. Bye now. How much longer? More or less two hours. One and a half. Want an apple? Ah, uh, an axe, huh? If you want to kill Kennedy, I can do it for you. No, thank you. I'll just wait for the lab to give me the Legionella results. Then I'll fire the jackass myself. Ah, uh, what about his connection at the Ministry? She'll thank me for not involving the prosecutor. Believe me, I don't even remember signing any contract, approving orders for those damn humidifiers. It was a blank slate. That's not what you were thinking. 
Yeah. Problem is I'm always thinking the wrong thing. The lions can notice that the Alpha's already old, so they start attacking. Good thing that we're humans and not lions, then. You know, I offered to help you through this for a long time now, right? The pain of loss is a process, not a status. You need to live and move past it. But you, all you did was crucify yourself. What does that have to do with it? I'm talking about work here, and you're talking about... A year or two ago, I would have alerted the ministry because of this. What humidifiers? Oh, come on! And now what? And now... You see? You see? You're stuck in denial again. And it prevents you from working. All I want is to help you. Results just came in. Do you know the difference between you and me? Tell me. I'll be right there. The thing is, I operate on the brain, and you're trying to get into the soul. And it's not working out so well. Alright, colleagues. This unpleasant episode has come to an end. I've just received the results of the lab analysis of the humidifiers, the one you brought here earlier, Dr. Zabalkina, and two others on the floor at random. The results for all those are crystal clear. But what do you mean by that? What is it? Are you hard of hearing? The lab didn't find any pathogenic organisms. But how come? Artem did- It's either a mistake or someone's malicious intent. Besides our laboratory, I also sent samples to... to another lab. And they have the same results. Dr. Fetisov, I believe... I need to apologize for earlier. I was harsh with you. Forgive me. Accepted. Nevertheless, Dr. Volokoshin told you about the infection, and you covered it up. Speculation? There's no positive test results for Legionella in the database. But I'm sure they were there. Let's not be rude now. Would you please check the database again, just to be sure? Listen, Dr. Sobalkina, we haven't really found the source of infection yet. It's possible that Dr. Volokoshin's patient came to us already infected. And then what happened, she infected Aleftina. How come, though? They haven't even met. And that is what we need to figure out. In the meantime, we have to quarantine the entire department and disinfect the area. That's all. I'll go ahead and notify the higher-ups. Dr. Yegorov, a word, please. Dr. Zabalkino, I expect your resignation letter by tonight. I won't write anything. In that case, you're going to be receiving two strict reprimands and you'll be on your way to court. You can take my word for it. Even the district clinic won't hire you. Mm-hmm. Asshole. I'm gonna see you through. You just wait. There's no way you're just going to walk away from here. He promised that Aleftina will remain in her ward until she's fully recovered. And you believe him? Do I have an option? But you're right. Two patients with Legionella can be a coincidence. This isn't a Staphylococcus which can be found in every hospital. Well, I don't care. I really don't. I'm sick and tired of all this.
Svetlana, what color are our ambas? Come again? What's the color of our amber bags? Uh, they're black. That's it? Well, yeah. No, one of the bags is blue. Remember that was on special with a new ventilator? Yeah, that's it. Mommy, am I pretty? Of course, sweetie. But you don't need this anymore. You're all better. Don't touch that! Mommy, are you crazy? Oh, did I scare you? I actually saw and heard everything. Conversations, hints. The people who came were allegedly from the Ministry, but their faces gave them away. If Melnichenko hadn't brought the documents, I would have just left it. Yeah. If only. <laughs> Those must be the worst words in the world, right? Yeah. We only say, if only. <sighs> if only... The driver that day... Left a minute earlier. Or perhaps later. If he hadn't made it to the stoplight. <laughs> if only I hadn't called. And distracted her. If only they were with me, not in the car. If I hadn't gone to that damn banquet in the first place. <sighs> but there's no if only. There's just a date, August 16. There's no if only. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but did you just say August 16? Yeah. I just remember that day very well. We were getting ready for the opera. I was so excited I even put the tickets on the mirror. Yeah, and then? Then Komarov suddenly showed up that day. <gasps> Pavel! What is it? It's Gorchin. That's his car! Buckle up. Damn it. Pull over! I just want to talk to you! Stop you bastard! She's my wife! Pavel, no! Pavel! Hold him! Corchin, leave her alone! Shut up, will you? Now open this door. I just want to talk to you. So open the Take door. Anything. Come out. I said hey, don't, don't touch her! Keep your mouth shut. No! I'm not talking to you. <laughs> Get your hands Take off me! Easy. Take it easy. What are you doing? Come on, it's me. My God, it's true. You're alive. 
I remember. You wanted to kill me. When I was in a coma, I heard every word that you said. What do you mean, wanted? I still want her. Leave her alone, Corjan! I promised. Understand? I still need you alive. Let's go. Come on. Leave her alone! Leave her, you hear me? Please don't! We can make a deal! Just give me a second, my love. No! Oh, oh come on. What's wrong with you? The man wants to negotiate. Why are you being such a bother? Huh? Let me go! Let me go! All right, follow me. No! Say hi to your wife. No! <laughs> <laughs> 